Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. Today is Sunday, June 24th, 2018. Today I'm going to recap the FIFA World Cup from yesterday and look at to today's action as well. Go over all the baseball action from yesterday, look at the, today's action. Go over the College World Series. Game 3 between Mississippi State and Oregon last night and look ahead to the College World Series, which begins tomorrow night. I'll give my pick for that series as well. Then I'm going to go over the NHL draft a little bit and go over the picks I liked and disliked throughout rounds 2 through 7. Here we go. World Cup action from yesterday afternoon. Germany defeated Sweden 2-1. to one. This was a great game to say the least. In the 32nd minute, Sweden got on the board first on a goal by Ola Toivinen to take a 1-0 lead. Then Marco Rios in the 48th minute ties it up at one apiece. And then before the game-winning goal by Germany, Jerome Botiang got a red flag in the 82nd minute. Then Tony Cruz in extra time, the game-winning goal, to give Germany a 2-1 victory. Huge win for Germany. Huge two points. That was Group F playing in the other game in Group F play yesterday. Mexico defeated South Korea 2-1. Big three points for them. Carlos Vila in the 26th minute on a penalty kick. 1-0 Mexico. Javier Hernandez in the 66th minute. 2-0 Mexico. Son Hyung min in extra time. Got Korea on the board. So Mexico wins that one. Group G action this morning. England defeated Panama 6-1. to So they get a huge three points. John Stones in the eighth minute put England up 1-0. Harry Kane on a penalty kick in the 22nd minute. 2-0. Jesse Lingard in the 36th minute. 3-0. John Stones again in the 40th minute. 4-0 England. Harry Kane in extra time before... Halftime, 5 nothing England. Then Harry Kane again for the hat trick to make it 6 nothing England. And Felipe Beloy got Panama on the board in the 78th minute. So England gets the win there. Japan and Senegal, my pick for that game that's underway in the 31st minute. Or I'm sorry, the 32nd minute. It was Senegal and they're currently up one nothing on a goal by Sadio Mane. Group H action later this afternoon on Fox, Poland against Colombia at 2 o'clock. Gave me Colombia for that one. Two huge games tomorrow morning in Group A, Saudi Arabia against Egypt at 10 o'clock, as well as Uruguay and Russia. Uruguay and Russia is on Fox, Saudi Arabia and Egypt is on Fox Sports 1. Two big games at the same time. Saudi Arabia and Egypt give me Egypt and Uruguay Russia give me Russia. Russia was my pick to win Group A. The two Group B games that are simultaneously being played at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, I'll pick on tomorrow's podcast. Baseball now. The Athletics defeat the White Sox 7-6 as they improve to 40-37. Chicago drops to 25-51. Lou Trevino improves to 5-1. and Juan Minaya drops to 0-2. Blake Tarion gets his 17th save of the year. Not going to go over to scoring. Just short on time. The Rangers defeat the Twins 9 to 6 to win their 7th in a row. They improve to 34 and 44. Minnesota drops to 33 and 40. Ivani Gallardo improves to 1 and 0. Jake Odorizzi drops to 3 and 5. Keone Kilo gets his 18th save of the year. The Marlins defeat the Rockies 6 to 2 as they improve to 30 and 47. Colorado drops to 38 and 39. Trevor Richards improves to 2 and 4. Tyler Anderson drops to 4 and 3. The Phillies defeat the Nationals 5 to 3 as they improve to 41 and 33. Washington drops to 40 and 35. Aaron Nolan improves to 9 and 2. Eric Fee drops to 0 and 3. Sir Anthony Dominguez gets his fourth save of the year. The Diamondbacks defeat the Pirates 7 to 2 as they improve to 43 and 33. Pittsburgh drops to 36 and 40. Zach Greinke improves to 7 and 5. Joe Musgrove drops to 2 and 3. Giants defeat the Padres 5-3 as they improve to 39-39. San Diego drops to 35-44. and Reyes Moronta improves to 3-1. and Adam Simber drops to 3-4. and The Rays defeat the Yankees 4-0 as they improve to 36-40. New York drops to 50-24. Wilmer Font improves to 1-1. Sonny Gray drops to 5-5. The Cardinals defeat the Brewers 3-2 as they improve to 39-36. Big win for them. 
Milwaukee drops to 45 and 31. Miles Mikolas improves to 8 and 2. Jared Jeffries drops to 5 and 1. Bud Norris gets his 14th save of the year. The Orioles defeat the Braves 7 to 5 as they improve to 23 and 52. Atlanta drops to 43 and 32. Dylan Bundy improves to 6 and 7. Julio Tehran drops to 5 and 5. Zach Britton gets his first save of the year. The Reds defeat the Cubs 11 to 2 as they improve to 31 and 45. Chicago drops to 42 and 32. Anthony D. Sclafani improves to 3 and 1. Luke Farrell drops to 2 and 3. The Indians defeat the Tigers 4 to 1 as they improve to 42 and 33. Detroit drops to 36 and 41. Trevor Bauer improves to 7 and 5. Francisco Liriano drops to 3 and 3. Cody Allen gets his 16th save of the year. The Mariners defeat the Red Sox 7 to 2 as they improve to 47 and 30. Boston drops to 51 and 27. Mike Leake improves to 8 and 4. Eduardo Rodriguez drops to 9 and 2. The Astros defeat the Royals 4 to 3 as they improve to 51 and 27. Casey drops to 23 and 53. Colin McHugh improves to 3 and 0. Justin Grimm drops to 1 and 3. Carlos Correa hit the walk-off single in this game. The Dodgers defeat the Mets 8 to 3 as they improve to 40 and 35. The Mets drop to 31 and 43. Caleb Ferguson improves to 1 and 1. Jacob DeGrom drops to 5 and 3. The Blue Jays defeat the Angels 4 to 1 as they improve to 35 and 41. The Angels drop to 41 and 36. Sion Kwan O oh, improves to 3 and 2. Justin Anderson drops to 1 and 2. Ryan Tapera gets his sixth save of the year. Today's games at 1 o'clock you have Mariners Red Sox. Marco Gonzalez and Chris Sale. Yankees Rays. Tampa Bay going for the sweep. Domingo Herman against Matt Andres. I thought Blake Snell was supposed to start this game. I guess not. Tigers Indians. Matt Boyd and Adam Pluko. Cubs Reds. Mike Montgomery and Sal Romano. Dodgers Mets. Rich Hill and Jerry Blevins. That's crazy that Jerry Blevins is getting a start here. I thought he was designated for assignment. I guess not. Orioles Braves. David Hess and Brandon McCarthy. Diamondbacks Pirates. Clay Buckles and Trevor Williams. Athletics White Sox. This is a 2 o'clock game. Paul Blackburn and Carlos Rondon. Cardinals Brewers at 2 o'clock. Luke Weaver and Julius Chassin. Rangers Twins. Bartolo Colon and Jose Barrios. Royals Astros. Jason Hamill and Garrett Cole. 3 o'clock Marlins Rockies. Caleb Smith and Herman Marquez. 4 o'clock Padres Giants. Eric Lauer and Derek Rodriguez. Blue Jays Angels. Sam Gaviglio and Felix Pena. Sunday Night Baseball. Phillies Nationals. The Phillies going for the sweep. You have Nick Paveda against Jeffrey Rodriguez. Give me the Nationals here. I think they'll finally get away to win a game. I think their bullpen will outduel the Phillies bullpen when it's all said and done. So give me Washington 4 2 in that game. College World Series last night. Oregon State defeated Mississippi State 5-2 to two to move on to the College World Series final as they move on to face the Arkansas Razorbacks. I think Oregon wins this in three games. I think Oregon's offense will be too much for Arkansas to overcome. That's why I like Oregon State in the series. Now I want to talk about the NHL draft a little bit. And go over picks I liked and some picks I didn't like from between rounds two and seven. There are some guys that were supposed to be first rounders that dropped to the second round for some bizarre reason. I like the Savers taking Matthias Samuelson with the 32nd pick. That was round two. Good job. Detroit taking Jonathan Begrin. And the pick they got from the Rangers via Ottawa. It was Ottawa's pick that the Rangers got from Ottawa for Derek Broussard. That was a good pick. But I don't love the selection. Jonathan Berggren, Saran the Well is still on the board. He was drafted by the Florida Panthers. Great pick, Florida. Jesse Yolnan by Montreal. Mm. 
I like Detroit taking Jared McIsaac, so two excellent picks for Detroit and McIsaac, and then the one I didn't think was that great in Bergen. There were just better players on the board, but it was still a solid pick. Vancouver took Jet Wu in the second round. It's a good selection. Montreal takes Alexander Romanov on the pick they got from Chicago. The Rangers took a goalie with their second round pick in Olof Lindbom. I don't love that selection. There are better guys on the board. Bode Wild was still on the board. Ryan McLeod was still on the board, and those were the next two picks off the board. As Edmonton took Ryan McLeod, and the Islanders took Bode Wild. Carolina took Jack Drury. That was an excellent pick. The Islanders got another second rounder from Calgary. Ruslan Ishikov, okay pick. Dallas took Albine Erickson. Mm. St. Louis takes Scott Peranovic. Okay pick there. The Capitals had a pick from the Devils. That was in the Marcus Johansson deal. Martin Faraby. Okay pick. And then Washington got another second round pick from Colorado in exchange for Philip Gaubauer the other day. I like the deal for both sides. Washington clears cap space because they threw in Brooks Orpik in the deal. And then Colorado gets a solid goalie back for a second round there. Cody Clark. Okay pick there. Jonathan Tikajic was selected by Ottawa. The pick was from New Jersey via the Rangers. This was the Rangers pick that they got from the Devils in the Michael Grabner deal. Tikajic is an okay prospect. Karel Marchenko was selected by Columbus with the 49th pick. That was okay. Adam Ginning was picked by the Flyers in the second round. That's a solid pick. Akil Thomas picked 51st by the Kings. That's a steal. Toronto takes Sean Druzy. Okay. Kaylin Addison was selected by the Pittsburgh Penguins in the second round. That's a steal. Anaheim got a steal in Benoit Olivier Grolks in the second round. Arizona from Minnesota got Kevin Ball in the second round. Montreal from Toronto. Jacob Olsen. Nice pick. Canadians there. Axel Anderson was picked by the Bruins in the second round. Mm. Philip Hallander was picked. From the Penguins, that pick came from Nashville via Colorado. Solid pick for Pittsburgh. Gabriel Fortier got picked by Tampa in the second round. That was an okay pick. David Gustafson was picked by Winnipeg in the second round. That's a solid pick. Vegas Golden Knights, Ivan Mazorov. Solid pick. And then Edmonton took a goalie in the second round. Olivier Rodrigue. Okay pick there. Picks I liked in the third round. I just wanted to go over the whole second round because... The second round's pretty important. I like Minnesota taking Jack McBain with the first pick in the third round. Chicago takes Jake Weiss. I like Jake Weiss. Vancouver takes Tyler Madden. I like Tyler Madden. Jacob Sekrek from the Islanders. It was a goalie. Good pick. Sampo Rantha was picked by the Avalanche. That's a solid pick. Anaheim takes Blake McLaughlin. They got that pick from New Jersey in the deal that sent Sammy Vaughton in to the Devils. Riley Sutter's a solid prospect that Washington took in the third round. Oh, this is funny. There's another Ryan O'Reilly in the league now. As Detroit selected a player named Ryan O'Reilly, a winger, in the fourth round. Just thought that was funny. Wanted to point that out. The Rangers took a solid defenseman in the fourth round. Nico Gross... Tampa Bay takes a solid defenseman and Alexander Green in the fourth round. I like Milos Roman, who Calgary took in the fourth round. Fifth round, Yegor Shranovic was drafted by the New Jersey Devils in the fifth round. I like that pick. Samuel Erson, the goalie from Sweden, was selected by the Flyers in the fifth round. That's a solid pick. Sixth round, Toronto takes... Pontus Holmberg, that's an okay pick. Chicago takes goalie Alexis Gravel. I like that pick as well. Calgary takes Matthias Emilio Peterson. That's a nice pick. And round seven. Sometimes you can get a gem in round seven. Henrik Lundqvist was picked in round seven by the Rangers, and I believe in 2001. So that was the best seventh round pick perhaps ever. Unless there's another better 7th round pick. 
But if they did a redraft of that draft, he probably goes number one overall. Philadelphia takes Marcus Westfall in the seventh round. That could be a diamond in the rough. And the Rangers take a winger by the name of Riley Hughes, who I like. And that's it for talking about the NHL draft. And that's it for today's podcast. I'll be back tomorrow recapping all the baseball from today and look ahead to tomorrow's games. I'll do my power rankings and I'll do my players of the week. I'll give every NBA and NHL team grades for their performances this weekend in the draft and also get into some free agency rumors in both the NHL and the NBA. I hope you guys have a great day, everybody.